Hi, I'm Willow Hope and I'm an autistic content creator. I make lots of videos to do with mental health and you can find them all on youtube.com slash willowhope. Hi, I'm Taylor Heaton and I'm an autistic YouTuber. The name of my channel is Mom on the Spectrum and I create all kinds of resources for autistic adults. You can find a lot more information along with free downloadable resources at momonthespectrum.net. Hey, I'm Orion Kelly, that autistic guy. I'm an autistic advocate and content creator based in Australia. And to check out all my videos, podcasts, and reach out and say hey, you can go to my website, orionkelly.com.au. What's going on? My name is Dan, and uh, if we're meeting for the first time, howdy. I do videos all about autism and ADHD and all that stuff every single week. So if you're new around here and you want to learn more, remember to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss a video. Right, guys, let's get into it. Hi, I'm Dana. For anyone that's new, this series is essentially me saying, yo, it feels like there's been a huge, big change because I've gotten this autism diagnosis, but technically nothing's different. So I'm having to figure out who I am as a person and as a recently discovered autistic person. And I'm just trying to figure myself out while hopefully helping other people figure some stuff out, offering some relatability, opening up some discussions and just trying to have a good time. Hi everyone, Paul Mikulev here from Asperger's From The Inside. I make weekly videos sharing the human side of autism, so make sure you hit subscribe to get the latest content. What is Autism Spectrum Disorder? And what's it like being diagnosed autistic as an adult? As an autistic adult, what insights and tips on how to come to terms with autism can I offer? Welcome to my little corner on the interwebs. If you're new here, my name's Kathleen and I'm autistic with a heavy dash of ADHD. I make videos about autism, neurodiversity, and my experiences as a late diagnosed autistic woman. So if that's something that you're interested in, be sure to click the subscribe button below. You can also find me on Instagram at neurodivergentme for more frequent updates. For those of you who do not know me, my name is William Worley, and I am diagnosed with autism spectrum disorder. I was suspected at 18 months and diagnosed at the age of four. The people who evaluated me told my mother that I would never stand a chance in this world as an independent human being or that I would never graduate from school. I didn't learn to properly speak until I was six years old. I stand here today with a master's degree in special education with a GPA of 3.78. I have my own house, car, job, pay all my bills, and do all my grocery shopping. I have presented many public presentations on my autism experiences for many years and have worked with kids with special needs for many years. I have been on my own fitness journey for over two years, losing over 50 pounds. 
I exercise often, I work hard, and I'm visually creative, and I strive to grow and help others. Hello, hello, and welcome or welcome back to Live Label Free, where you'll learn to fully embrace your unique brain and optimize all facets of your health, business, and life. Hello, my name is Mackenzie, and I'm autistic and an adhd -er. Welcome to my channel, Autistic Musings. On my channel, I spread autism awareness by defining autistic terms, by giving uniquely neurodivergent solutions to neurodivergent problems, and by sharing my own personal experience as an autistic person. Hi everybody, my name is Krista Holmans and I'm the Neurodivergent Rebel and I am also an autistic adult. However, I didn't know I was autistic until I was 29 years old. And when I found out, it was actually quite a shock. And that's why when I found out, I went on the internet and started making videos and sharing what I know about autism because the information really isn't out there, especially not from an autistic perspective. My name is Lennox Blake, and if you're new here, I am autistic and have ADHD. My channel is a safe place for anybody who's self-diagnosed, is diagnosed, or has a loved one who is autistic. Now, I'm not a doctor. I'm just sharing my experiences with you. When it comes to autism, it is not a one-size-fits-all, so, Let's say your nephew has autism, we're most likely going to have different traits. Um, but so I'm just sharing some of mine or other traits that um, people I know have. Because I love making coffee, that's my, that's my motto. Good morning. How would you like your coffee? Hot or iced? Cream and sugar? Or would you guys like any food? And if they say no thank you, uh, they said they already had two cups, they just go over to the record part. My name is Katherine Toops and I am the mother of Daniel Toops. Daniel has autism and obsessive compulsive disorder. He is nonverbal but he owns his own business called JT Firestarters. JT Firestarters started in 2014. It got started when Daniel was in high school at Hempstead in Dubuque. He has purpose, he wants to go to work. He actually gets upset on days he's not able to work because of weather or something. Having a job, it makes all the difference in Daniel's life. 80% um, of autistic adults are unemployed. So this gives Daniel purpose. He has something to do. And so if he did not have a job, he would not uh, have much to do during his day. So in this situation, we can control what he does and what he needs. He needs an environment where it's modified, so maybe it's quieter, the temperature is comfortable to him, and he has space to walk, to calm down, or just to gather his thoughts, and then he needs a place to relax where it'd be a chair that rocks. JT Fire Starters are made out of 100% recycled materials. We have an egg carton, shredded paper, dryer lint, and candle wax, and that is used to start a fire in a campfire, fireplace, or grill. We've always been proven true. Still the world that tries to steal our hope. Tries to make us numb. But our love has overcome. And you, my dear, you are my prize. When I look into